beautiful day to mow some hay. And as I'm going up to the field, I wanted to stop by quick because people were asking me what happened to the field that I chopped all those weeds on the ground. Um, I ended up making a little video and I never posted it. I never put it all together and posted it. Um, I chisel plowed it, I disked it, and uh, we ended up putting soybeans in it. I wanted to put some corn in it, but my dad wanted soybeans. So we got some soybeans in there now. Uh, they're not that tall, but I mean, they're only, geez, I don't even know, a month, a month old. Um, the higher ground land that I'm on right now really doesn't grow the best. It's not the best land for corn and soybeans and the grain. It does some good, uh, it does good hay. And that's pretty much it. So, uh, the fact that they're up really surprises me. Uh, it's pretty grassy right now, but they haven't been sprayed yet, obviously. But that's what we did with that field. We did this one and another one that hasn't been a field we haven't done in 20 years. We put soybeans in just to kind of break it up a little bit. But I'm in the mower, running over to a neighbor's. I got the new Holland HW340. I am running over to a neighbor's right now. Um, he sold his cows in the fall before the winter, and he's uh, got a few people that are going to come uh, mow his mow and bale up his farm right now. We're going to take a little bit. It's pretty brown at this point, so we're going to use it for bedding hay. Um, other than that, yeah, I think we're only going to take about 10 acres or so. But anyway, uh, before I get going on the road again. I just wanted to say uh, the Broome County Fair 2018 uh, turned out to be a much better year than I thought, or week than I thought. Um, my daughter had a great time showing her calf down there. The tractor pull went great. My dad, I know, ninth place out of nine, but I told him, hey, top ten. Um, it was cool meeting a lot of, uh, or seeing a lot of the neighbors there. It was in our class. It was kind of cool joking around with everybody as we were pulling. And uh, the coolest thing about the week is I had a ton of people come up to me. Um, neighbors came up to me. Hey, my son watches your YouTube channel. He's a big fan. Um, I had a guy come up to me while I was getting a drink on the Midway say he watches my channel. He's a big fan. Um, I had a mother uh, taking pictures of the tractor and then took a picture with me in the tractor to send to her son because she was a fan. It was just, I was blown away by the people who reached out and um, said hi and said they were a fan. And uh, so that, that that was absolutely awesome um this is the weekend i'm going to try to post this as soon as possible um next week wednesday august 8th uh me and my brother are going up to where we buy grain up sangerfield type new york area new york and we're going to an open house there the place we buy grain and while we're up there i'm going to around the corner to Shar ridge farms <coughs> excuse me um i talked to sean on and off a little bit from up there and he's told me hey whenever i'm in the area stop by so we're gonna stop by he's got a nice red and white holstein herd and he's got ford new holland tractors so we're gonna swing in and check it out uh, check out his channels if you want it's s-h-a-r dash r-i-c-h char rich farms pretty good channel and then of course august, thursday august 9th i am going to empire farm days um I hope to see some of you there. Uh, if you guys do see me there, please come up and stop me and say hello. Uh, I had a guy on Instagram message me and say he was excited to go up Thursday. He wanted to know if it would be okay if he could uh, meet me and get a picture. I said absolutely. So definitely, definitely uh, stop me and say what's up and, and you know it's cool to meet some of you guys. So anyway, that being said, let's hit the road and let's go knock this hay down. We have the new Holland 340, like I said. Uh, the header's getting kind of dirty. I need to clean that up, but it's a 15 foot header. I am in the road gear right now. You cannot run the header in road gear. It's gotta be switch over to the field gear. Um, this turns it on. This is a reverser if there's a problem. You get your brake, your throttle. Uh, here's everything. This button right here changes your display. And these two buttons, this bigger one raises and lowers your header, and this one does your tilt. So it's a pretty simple machine. I was actually asked in one of my videos, I thought it was a really good question. He asked, when the day comes, what would I do to upgrade, or what would I like to do to upgrade um, if we wanted to move on from this? And to be honest with you, I got thinking about that, and uh, I said, honestly, I had no clue because I never gave it a thought, and it was a really good question, but. 
this machine really doesn't have a lot of hours on it and uh, the header is getting pretty worn out uh, we just did some maintenance to it and we're gonna have to do some more in the off season to it but honestly I think our best bet because the machine itself runs great um, I think instead of spending a hundred thousand dollars on a new machine um, spend a little less than that and just get a new header for it uh, for what we use it for to knock down our alfalfa and to knock down our hay we don't put on the acres that some of these other guys do so I think just going the other route and just going a new header would be the best bet so it's pretty simple to use I got the air conditioning on low and it's really comfortable in here right now it's it's humid out there today so really comfortable inside it's a good machine uh, if you guys ever thinking about going to a self-propelled disc bind uh, these HW340s New Hollands are really good machines I think they're great uh, it's a good one to get started on so before this my dad had a New Holland so $14.99 I want to say when I was a little kid we had the $4.99 pull type hay bind and he got the self-propelled I believe they just put a one in front of it it's the same head and it is the self-propelled hay bind and that thing was slow Good machine, just a slow machine. When we went to a disc bind, there's no looking back. So, anyway, I gotta turn the camera off because this road is very narrow and I gotta watch what I'm doing. So, I take up the whole road right now, so I need to concentrate and get into the field safely. So, see you guys in the field.
work between another good day like this. This is going to be nice and ready to go. So, turn it down a little bit. It was really thick. I had to go pretty slow. So, but I did a good job. It's looking good. It's a nice start. This will more than fill up our barn. So, <clears throat> excuse me. So, uh, thanks for watching this video. Uh, drop me a comment below, hit that thumbs up button, and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Uh, don't forget, Thursday, August 9th, Empire Farm Days in Seneca Falls, New York. Hopefully I get to meet some of you guys. Make sure to stop me and say hey. Um, yeah, and I will talk to you guys then. Stay tuned for the next video. I'll try to uh, make a video of Empire Farm Days. So, uh, until then, I will see you guys next time.